Hello and welcome to an area we've now moved to in the UK. Been here a couple of weeks now. Um, we are only renting here. We are renting this house. Uh, we're renting a small shed down the road. Um, we're not setting up here permanently. We're just using this now as a stopgap until we find somewhere a decent farm to move to, to buy. So we're just going to be doing a few bits here in this area of the UK that we've moved to. Um, the main place here was called Kendall Farm, but uh, it's all been broken up into smaller bits now. I think there's a dairy farm up there. Um, there's a guy that's got a sort of farm. He's sort of retired, packed up a bit down there. That's who we rent in the shed off of and this house actually. So we're just going to have a look around today and go and see him. We've got a, another truck now. We've got a Toyota, this Toyota Land Cruiser. So we'll just go and show you around the area. It was a shop just right over the road from us. I might be able to get out if the traffic stops coming. Seems to be quite busy here. So we'll just pop that here for a minute. So it's obviously a case and JCB place. Z tour sitting out here. 170 horsepower. A year old, I think that's brand new. A case Puma and a Maxim sitting there. We've already been to see them in there. Um, they just they obviously do repairs and everything here as well. So yeah this is it so we have ordered some demo tractors through them um, one's going to be a Massey Ferguson and one's going to be a John Deere but uh, we're going to have to wait a little while for them to turn up so that's, this is where they're coming when they do arrive so we'll just pop down now to the shed that we rented. Which is not too far away from the house. This is quite a small little area. If you drove past it or through it, if, if you blink you'd miss it. There's no shops or anything like that here. I think we're going down here. So what we've rented basically is this here. We'll just open the gate and go in and have a look. So this is it. We've at least got one big barn here that we can put some bits in. We might end up doing, hopefully, a few jobs around the place for some people. We've been asked to do one thing here. There is one field, or two fields, including this grass field, but we won't be needing that for anything. But there's this very rough field that's been left for quite a long time. There's a track through here to another field there that someone else uses. So this field is very rough bits of grass, weeds and all sorts in there. Um, he's asked us if we can cultivate this or do something with it just to get rid make it look a bit tidier. So we've said yeah we'll try and tidy that up somehow. So this is basically all we've got and all we'll have on there. 
for a little while. Shut that gate on the way out. Because we've not got anything to put in there yet. Check in with the old chap. So, I think he used to have a bit of a dairy farm here, but he's long packed up farming this chap. But he's got a few bits and pieces around, I believe, to do some bits and bobs. So, we'll just go and say hello to him. I don't think that's his truck, that American. I think it's a GMC sort of thing, I think that belongs to his son that doesn't live here at the moment. He's away working in a different country. So we'll just check in with him. So he's just asked us if we'd kindly get on the road and mow a very small field for him. Um, apparently there's, there's a, he's given us a, drawn a map of a small field down the road. Uh, some place that they sometimes have car boot sales on or, and farm sales so it's a bit of a land that's down the road but uh, he said there there's something coming up and he'd like the grass mode but he's not capable so he said could we do it so I said yeah but I said I've got nothing to do it with uh, he said in the shed right behind the house he said there you'll find a tractor and a topper so I said, okay, as long as it's all okay, I can go off and do that. So apparently in here, there's something. No, we'll have to have a look, see what's in here. Ah, and there's an International 856XL. And a Fleming Topper. Alright, oh, so I just found that. So... I'll just check the oils on that engine oil and the back axle oil so that's all fine so I think we should be good to go so we'll just open that and jump in so this has got a full tank of fuel We've only got to go just down the road, not far away. So, so if I switch that light while it's going to be working. He said you'll know when you're there, it's a very rough area. He said there's stuff everywhere. Junk and stuff. right out of there there's someone harvesting a very late crop there it's pretty much autumn now coming up on the left that's the rough field there behind our place we've got to tidy up so maybe just around the corner but it's not very far down here ah that must be it just here Let's find the gate for it It's not the first one, it's the second one. So 
well, it's just this little area here. But you said be careful because there's rubbish everywhere. Bit of a dumping ground. So we'll get this set up and get this all mowed. basic this old thing but it's doing the job go over there a little bit I don't want to get corn and remember that rubbish too much there might be nails in it and some of that old wood still going over there So we're nearly finished here, we've done that section over there. A couple more runs here to do and we're finished in here. Right, so that's this lot done. We'll get this back, better just shut these gates. This is once a contractor's yard. Back past the old combine, seems to have stopped out there. We've been stopped out there for quite a while, so I don't know if he's having his dinner or he's broken down.
I'll just let him know that that's all done okay. Pop this back in his shed. let him know what's going on so yeah we'll have um, something in there and have something to do shortly hopefully so there's only one other job for us to do today and that is tidy up the back garden of the house we've got he said there's a mower out the back and could we just mow the back garden of the house? I'm just going to turn around there. It's going to be a lot easier than trying to squeeze across a passenger seat. Park quite close to the wall because they come down here at quite a rate, the old cars. So there's not much going on out the back of this house. It's pretty boring. But it does look horrible. So So that should keep him happy. Do not upset the landlord. Right, so that's that. So yeah, so we're going to be renting this until we find somewhere else. We are going to be looking around at the same time as doing bits here. Um, not quite sure where we're looking to go yet, but we will be having a good look around. So thank you very much for watching this episode here on Kendall, and we'll, it'll be back to its normal slot, which will be a, hopefully be a Saturday um, from next week. So catch you all again later. Cheers. <laughs>